Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Jesse the Plants. We love bringing you new videos every week. And I know you enjoy watching them. So like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell so you will know when new content is posted. Like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Now sit back and watch this. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in to our boardroom chat. I'm yes. Jesse Duplantis. And I'm Kathy Duplantis, and we're so glad you're joining us today. I tell you what, God is so good and gracious. Yeah. And boy, I want to tell you something about South Louisiana. Where we, we've been going through freezes, boy, and we're not used to that. Now, you people up north think we're a bunch of wimps, and maybe we are. I don't know. But when it gets 24 and 23, and we have what we call the North Shore and the South Shore, and it's just it's Lake Pontchartrain's in between. Right. And uh, <clears throat> uh, one of my, uh, my producers there, uh, uh, Todd said it was, what was it, Todd? 19, you said 18, 18 degrees. Lord Jesus. Now, to us, that's the Antarctica <laughs> and the Arctic, you know. I just, it's just been cold, but that's all right. We, we, we're getting through it. It doesn't the last Lord. long here, thankfully. You know, I got to I gotta explain up. the question. We have some of these novels that they look at us and they go, what do you mean busted pipes? They have no concept of what that means because they freeze all for, for four months, five months. The difference is, People say, how can they not have a, have a problem? Well, you know it and I know it. Most of these houses up there have basements. And the water lines are below the freeze line. I got to say it. It's, it's my show. I can say what I want. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. below the freeze line. So what they do is, uh, you know, put it all there. And it's not going to freeze. And then when it comes up out of the into the house, they wrap it with electric tape or something like that so they never freeze it. Us, if we dig two feet in the ground, we're going to hit water. <laughs> See what I'm saying? So we can't do that. So most people, we have what we call exposed pipes, houses on top. Uh, uh, raised level house, and you have to insulate them. So that's why we had that problem. Well, even if the house is not raised, we're, we're, our house is not raised. We no. did live in one that had a, a raised house. Our first house was a yellow house that was less than 1,000 square feet. And I remember we had a pipe that busted that time. Oh, God. <laughs> that, was was a, that was a funny story you told in one of your Mary Hart. Uh, well, I had to get on to change that pipe. And I, so man, you know how nasty, it seems like everything goes under a house. I don't know, cats bring stuff under a house, dogs. <laughs> I'm going through, but you know, Kathy, I should have put Kathy in the line. As I got underneath the house, I mean, I, my back, like a smiley, was cutting me with a knife. And I go, oh God, what is it? And she says, oh, I'm sorry, Jesse, I threw some cactus underneath the house. <laughs> I could have killed it. I'm <laughs> sure the wind blew it. I'm sure it wasn't me. No, you said you throw the cactus out of the house. I never I, thought you would actually be under the house. Well, so, neither know. did I, but I had to get that water. It was a, and I fixed it to make a long story short. I was short. trying to grow Not plants. Not very well. Every plant I grew seemed to die, so I thought maybe I can... <laughs> You know, raise a cactus around here, but even that died. Yeah, I almost died. <laughs> so it was died. dead, but I it, mean, still, I had them, it still that, poked you. <laughs> yeah, it, them things were that long, man. I had to pull them out. Lord, oh. Lord, it was just something. Anyway, you know. It was a bad experience. We couldn't afford a, a, a plumber, and you who can't fix anything, or yeah, didn't. So from then on, after, that, after I sold that little house, I said, anyhow, I don't want to see a pipe. I want to make sure they're all in a slab. We are never, ever going to do that. And, of course, and thank God we've done that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I want to talk today about something I just love, something that happens to me all the time. Mm -hmm. And I mean it. It's one of the most wonderful scriptures, and it's found in the Old Covenant, in the Old Testament. Go with me to the book of Isaiah, or if you're from Europe, Isaiah, mm -hmm. however you say it. Chapter 65. Okay. And Catherine, if you want to get well, different I, translations, you can. I have my iPad and my Bible here, okay. so we'll be ready. Man, you're going to be yeah, you really I good. Got you got iPads and Bibles. <laughs> you're going to shuck the corn today, glory 65. to God. Now watch this. This is um, God writing to Isaiah. Isaiah here pens this, and I love this scripture. And while she's looking here, give her a little time. This has happened to me so many times. I have what you call extreme favor from the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm not bragging on myself. I'm just telling you the truth. I have an extreme anointing of increase on me. I'm telling you. And yet I get persecuted by it all the time. People are always talking about the house or talking about the jet. And they don't realize that anybody thinks I use ministry money to do it. And I did all that myself. See what I'm saying? And not the jet. The jet, you know, I, I got, you know, uh, the ministry bought the jet. But, I mean, I don't even use it personally. I mean, I, I, I'm constantly using it. For the kingdom, and I could, I, I could use it. That's not the issue. I just, man, I get a day off. Jesse come home. You see what I'm saying? 
And uh, it, anyway, there's always about it, so, so mad about something. And yet when they get to heaven, what are they going to do when they see mansions and gold and all that kind of stuff? Well, maybe they're not going to make it. I hope they do. God says his will be done on earth as it is in heaven. But this is so amazing to me. I've, had, I've been preaching 48 years. And Kathy, you know it and I know it. We have never had a financial deficit. And this is one of the greatest reasons why. Isaiah chapter 65, verse 24. Now, I'm reading the old King James Version. It says, and it shall come to pass. Now, it's come to pass for me. Will it come to pass for you? Isaiah 65, verse 24. 24. And it shall come to pass that before they call, the word call there is ask. Mm -hmm. Before they ask, I will answer. And while they are yet speaking, I will hear. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, that's done, God has done that so much to me. I, before I got, get a chance to go to the throne in, in a prayer and say, Jesus, you know, could you help me on it? I get my answer. And I thought, why? And he, when he brought me to that scripture years ago, and I went, boy, you do that for me. And while I'm speaking, I've had him interrupt me and say, I've already done that. Mm -hmm. But I hadn't seen it yet. The faith already had got it. The manifestation was coming. Right. Now read it, read it in one translation and see what it says there. Well, let me just find another one here. Oh, you didn't was, like the one? No, but I read King James and Amplified there, and I think I want to see what it says in the New Living Translation. Okay. It says, I will answer them before they even call to me. Praise While they are still talking about their needs, I will go ahead and answer their prayers. That is the most amazing thing. And that can happen to you, not sometime, but every day. The other day we, had, we came up, listen to this. You know, this ministry is global, and it costs a lot of money to run this ministry. And we thank all our partners who faithfully support this ministry. But all of a sudden, we got a million-dollar bill. <laughs> it just happens. I wish it was $100. I wish it was 100000 but it costs a million bucks. Ladies and gentlemen. I found out about it before I could say, Lord, could you get, help us to do this? Watch this. And that was on uh, uh, January the 4th when I, when I found about it. Someone wrote a check on January the 2nd, and we were off because of the holidays, you know, January 1st. And we got there, and we saw it. It was a check for a million dollars. And I thought, my God. And, God. and the Lord brought me Isaiah 65, mm -hmm. 24. Before you ask, <clears throat> I will answer. Hallelujah. It was already answered, and I, and I didn't have a chance to say, God, can you help us to do that? Because it takes millions a month to run this ministry. just takes a lot of money. I wish it was free. I, I, I wish it was, but it's not. Television time, you know, these, this table here ain't free. They didn't give it to us. You know, the cameras, you name it, all that kind of stuff. And God honored it to such a degree. And how many times I'd be asking or talking to him about stuff. He said, I've already done that. Let's yeah. go, go, go further into the future. Yeah. Uh, I ahead. love that because, you know, in Matthew chapter 6, Jesus said, in fact, it's in verse 8, I, I, I just found this reference. Do not be like them. He's talking about those who don't know God. For your father knows what you need before you ask him. So before you even had an opportunity to ask him, he saw the need coming before we did. He saw yeah. all, all of it, anticipated all of that, right. you know. And I think it's so beautiful that it's, God does that. It's one of the most and, amazing But he scriptures. still wants us to ask. Well, you know, Still Joe, wants us yes. to participate in the process. And keep on asking. Yeah. Seek and keep on seeking. We talked knock about and keep that on knocking. Past chat. Now, when my daughter was young, uh, and, she, and she's still young as far as I'm concerned, but when she was a teenager, she said, Dad, how come you always seem to know about something? Well, before she could ask me, I already had handled that situation. Mm -hmm. I said, well, the reason why, uh, I was born a lot earlier than she was. I already been through that. See, and she said, boy, Dad, you, just, you and Mom, y'all just seem to know what's happening. I said, well, we were 14. You may not think we were 14. I mean, you see my gizzard neck here, my turkey neck. You know, I, think, I, said, I said, I got to pull that up. Praise God. Anyway, but you know. Can you do that? I, no, I don't think so. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but I, I don't care. Don't make, I got it people. Won't stay up. I have plastic surgeons <laughs> who love me. I'm talking very good ones, very expensive ones. They said, Brother Jesse, you need some work. Well, I'm almost 75 years old. You know what I'm saying? I said, I don't care. And listen, I'm telling you, I didn't ask for this, but they'll say, and it, we'll do it you for free. And I said, does it hurt? She said, oh, yeah, it's going to hurt. I said, I've had enough pain in my life. Just let this baby hang down, <laughs> and I'll just stick it in my, and butt my collar, and you won't see it. See, I don't see think you anybody don't see it now. Can you see it? it? I don't think anyone notices oh, I think it they as notice much it. as you do. <laughs> so, Who but cares? I mean, I mean, think about it. You know how much money it costs to do all that stuff? A lot of money. I'm for free. 
And I said, no, thank you. I, I've had enough pain in my life, but I appreciate that, you know. Yeah. I earn these cracks. I do like my wrinkles. Yeah, I earn every one of them. <laughs> the wisdom. Yeah, well, I don't know about wisdom. But well, I mean, you're, it not, does, you're not yeah. 14 anymore, right? I'm not 14. You don't think so, Mama? <laughs> well, you, that's how you got started that's on how that? I got started. You used to be 14. You used to be 14, and Jody would say, how does Daddy know that? Or how does Mama know that? Well, we went through 14, 15, 16, you name it, that kind of stuff. Now, think about that. When you understand and have what I call relationship and to develop from relationship to fellowship, you begin to understand as you talk, he's already talking. He's ahead of you. I want you to read Matthew uh, 6. Uh, Matt, read that Matthew again. Matthew 6, verse 8 says, yeah. Do not be like them, for your Father knows what you need before you ask him. That's amazing. In St. John 12, St. John chapter 14, verse 12, 13, 14, Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me the works that I do, shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go to my Father. Then he says, whatsoever you shall ask in my name, watch this, that will I do, why? That the Father may be glorified in the Son. So when you ask God for something, God gets glorified, the Father. And then Jesus said, if you ask anything, yeah. Anything's a big word, Kathy. Prayer is a big... I will do it. Prayer is so important to God. It's the language and it's of God. it's actually just talking. Like you and I, I don't pray to you, but I communicate. You should. No. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, right. kiss it's my never, hand. It's never going to happen. <laughs> kiss my hand, woman. No. Uh, <laughs> well, you know, I, I, I went, Sarah called okay. Abraham Lord. When you gonna call her. me Lord? Good for her. <laughs> Good I probably for never her. will. I thought, okay, well, uh, <laughs> man, where you going? I tried, people. I tried. <laughs> But uh, we talk, we communicate, and this is what really prayer is, communication with God. And God wants us to, to talk with Him because He knows we need this, this connection in order to survive this world that He put us in. In fact, that verse that Jesus quoted, that I just read you, was Jesus saying this in verse 8 of Matthew chapter 6. He goes on from there to teach us how to pray. And it says in verse 9, After this manner, therefore, pray ye, our Father, which art in heaven, oh, I love that. hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. He says, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. So even in this prayer, he's teaching us what to pray for. Even though God knows we need all of these things, right. we're to ask and we're to well, it's pray. Communication, it's see. communication. And it's just really amazing how... It's the language of God. Uh, yeah, I, I say that quite often. And how many people, God is just waiting for somebody just to say something and they won't say it. But see, what, uh, now see there's two things you've got to do for God to answer you before you ask, or while you're talking, he said, I already did that. Number one, you got to live clean. Hmm. Now, put that in your mind. You got to live clean and holy. The Bible says, be ye holy, for I am holy. I'm not talking about walking around like some religious monk. I, I'll give you an example. For Christmas last year, we hadn't had a Christmas party for the staff in quite a while. What our staff was doing is each department would have their own little Christmas thing, you know, because they all work together. Well, Kathy came over there. She said, Jesse, let's just do a whole Christmas party for the whole staff. I said, okay, that's fine. So we booked this uh, restaurant, and um, it was really wonderful, and everybody dressed up. Some of my staff I didn't even recognize because they come to work, you know, like uh, yeah, my, my uh, housekeeping people, my uh, maintenance people. You know, they, you, you can't dress up. You mean, you know, you, you're going to get dirty. I'm telling you, they, they just like a, a, like a million bucks. Now, the owners or the people that worked at the place, I mean, we were having such a good time. So Kathy got up and said, let's get this party started or something like that, you know, <laughs> and uh, gave away gifts. And the, the, it, was, it was just really nice. This is what they said. And they were bringing us food. I mean, the food was exceptional. And uh, they said, you know, we had about 120, 130 people there. Uh, I've never seen somebody have so much fun without liquor, without booze. Now, I, wouldn't have, I wasn't even thinking about booze. Mm -hmm. I wasn't thinking about it. And they just saw how much fun everybody had. Well, you know why? Well, our staff lives clean. We do right. So number one, see, people will notice that. You got to be holy for I am holy. I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about, look, at, look at me when I say that, walking around with your hand like this all the time. Whoa, 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 yeah. No, no, no. Words, you got to live in life as well, you know. But, and number two, do right. Do it because it is right. You see what I'm saying? 
Be ye holy for I'm holy and then do right. In other words, faith without works is dead. Got to have some action. Activate what's inside of you and it'll work for you. Not some of the time, but all the time. So before you ask, I, I'm still amazed at what happened in January of 2024 here, which is this month. Mm -hmm. I mean, that million dollars came up kind of unexpected. I wasn't expecting that kind of thing. I mean, that much anyway. And bam, the Lord was so good and gracious to us because we're working constantly 24-7. This ministry is running around. I mean, just doing everything. I mean, and, I, and we read, I, I just read something so wonderful. Mm -hmm. I, I stopped off at the finance uh, uh, um, accounting officer, and somebody had a, a letter that was wrote in Spanish, which I can't, I, I took a year of Spanish once, but all I know is, como esta usted, that's about it, you know. And um, so someone, one of our people in our, in our Spanish department here, they translated, it was just so wonderful what they were saying, how much they enjoyed this message. And they said, never quit translating your ministry in Spanish. Mm. Because you are touching the Spanish-speaking Christ people God. of the world. Well, that, that's 24-7 going on all the time through social media and the different things that are happening. And it was just such a blessing of the Lord. And, I, and you know, I thought, go on every available voice, go on every available outlet, you know. Uh, I said, well, how do I do that? Well, God had to send me people to do that. See, look, I'm Jesse the Planet, but I'm just one person. This is Jesse the Planet's Ministries. See what I'm saying? And it takes, it takes a village, like what her name used to say or whatever. It takes everybody in one mind and one accord. And it's amazing how good we all get along. Mm -hmm. What are you laughing at? <laughs> I see you laughing. Nothing. Did I say something wrong? <laughs> no. <laughs> say it. I didn't want to say what's her name. That's all I was thinking. You want to know what I was thinking? That's what I was thinking. Say what's her name? Who, who, who are you, who are you talking about? The village person. <laughs> oh, the village person. <laughs> Uh, who, who was that? I don't want to talk about it. You anyway, don't want to talk about it. This is a good chat. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. I don't know what she's talking about. I heard somebody say that, you know, and I don't know. I don't know who it was. You like to quote a lot of people. I quote, yeah, I like to quote. <laughs> but I mean, how they get along and and why? Well, they live clean and they do right. And they're, they're, they're very uh, uh, complimentary to each other. It's just amazing to see it. It's a, such a blessing. But that's the key for God to answer. That's so Before true. you ask. Yeah. Go ahead, guys. Well, and I, lo I love this whole idea that God really wants us to ask. He wants us to ask. In fact, Psalms 2 is another verse to, I wanted to read. Verse 8 says, Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for Ooh. thine inheritance. Some, one translation says the nations, which right. made me think of this verse when you're talking about the Spanish community. Right. There's, more, there's like one-third of the people in the world are speaking Spanish, yeah. I think. And so I think that's the largest a large population of people uh, outside of English. I don't know if English is first. Oh, even. no. Is Chinese? I, I think, is it English? I, no, and Chinese. Is Spanish? Well, there are more people speak, well, because this is, it's the biggest nation. Anyway, you know what I'm saying? As far, that it's a India. lot of people regardless. So he says, ask me and I shall give thee the heathen for thy inheritance and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Jesus called us as part of the body of Christ to go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. So that included, God put it upon our heart to ask. And so we began to pray about this. In fact, we've been on Spanish broadcast many, many years ago, but that was just broadcast TV. And so we, we backed up and did some other things around here because we we didn't really have the, the mechanism to respond to these people. And so we started it back up. I think it was summer of last year. Am I right about that? And so uh, we started it back up and on everything that we post on social media, it is now translated in Spanish and uh, all the different sh programs that we do on social media are translated in Spanish. And people were getting great responses. So we have quite a bit of staff that speak Spanish. So we developed an entire department because our partners helped us to do that. And because of that, Amen. people's lives are being reached. I remember just recently, I think it was in September, that you were able to go back to Colombia. You weren't, you were there before, Bog but this Bogota, time, Colombia. Bogota, Colombia. You went back to the Believers. Con I think Kenneth Copeland had a conference there. Mm -hmm. You were one of the speakers, and you were able to see the many people were there that have been being. I mean the they were really receiving oh, from you because they they've been watching and all seeing the all these posts and it continues to grow and increase. And and, and that's so exciting. You said about broadcast, and we also, we're now on uh, Daystar's Spanish channel. Yeah, we're continuing to expand. See, you know, we're constantly. not backing up, we're going forward. See, that's why we, need, that we, that's why we need your faithful financial support. 
I mean, because one part of that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, 100% of what you give goes in the world evangelism. We're serious about this. And Amen. thank you, partners, for doing that. And if you're not a partner, pray about becoming one. Because this anointing of increase is on me, baby. I, I, you can say what you want. It is on me. I'm telling you, and I want it to come upon you. And it's not just money. It's spiritual, physical, and financial. <clears throat> so if you'd like to be a partner, you want to give, just go to our website. That's jdm.org. You can use PayPal if you like to do that. You can text to give a one-time donation or a recurring one if you want. Kathy likes the JDM apps. A lot of people like that. And you select the giving you want. Or you can just mail in a check in the old-fashioned donate. JDM app is like one of the superstore. I mean, yeah. we got a department here that I does mean, all, all kinds this of stuff. stuff. I mean, it's the best place. So right. just however you want to do it. And I hope you do. Because I want you, to, I'm going to sound arrogant, I want you to live as good as I do. Amen. You saw me sick, sad, discouraged, broke, despondent. If that's not an increase, I don't know what is. And what come, what's on me will come on you. I believe that, ladies and gentlemen. I'm telling you. And I tell you what, and, I, and before I ask God something, he gives it to me. Hmm. I mean, it's amazing. And while I'm talking, he'll say, I already did that. Already, that's in the pipeline. Mm -hmm. You know, those kind of things. And I love conversation with God. And when you understand that, and I want you to read a couple of, uh, of these um, wonderful testimonies. These are things that you sent in. And read some of this, Kathy, and you'll see, what, you'll see what I'm talking about. These are people's words, not ours. Go ahead. Hi, Brother Jesse. I am Afi from no Nairobi, Kenya. Let's go, dreamers. Yeah, I talked about that. I want to be a dreamer. There comes that dreamer. Let's go. Okay, and then uh, this one, I don't recognize the name. It's just a, uh, a title. Okay. Bless from Norway. Hey, bro it says, Brother Jesse, my preacher of joy, me and my four boys love you and lovely Kathy. I'm a partner. We got invited Norway. to Norway. I got to remember, I've never been to Norway. I, we got to go to Norway, Kathy. I just feel good about that, you know. Amen. <laughs> we got this a plane now that we can go anywhere in the world now, praise God. So we, 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 we go, we going to travel. I'm used to traveling, but we're just going to do as the Lord directs us. Go ahead, Mom. And uh, Puma, Prumza from South Africa says, Thank you, Brother Jesse and Sister Kathy, for the blessings you impart in all of us. Thank you for this word. I want to be called a dreamer and give God a job. Thank you for oh. praying for me and my family. So there, that's our theme. That's cup. our theme. It's on our cups we're using yeah. right now. Yeah. and It's the new one. You can it's get those Genesis, yourself as Genesis, well. Genesis, it says this. Is there anything too hard for the Lord? Genesis 18, 14. And I went, no. Mm -hmm. He said, then give me a job. You keep God busy, yeah. he's going to keep you busy. I'm telling you, it will work. I'm, and before you ask, God, I love that. He will answer. Read some more. I, yes. I really like and these. It, and, you know, keep your drink cold or hot. What is that stuff you're drinking? I've got a hot tea right now because you can hear I'm a little nasally. Let me tell everybody, still, from now on, when you give her this kind of tea, Put a cover on that stuff. I don't like the way that I, smells. I, I took the cover off. It's my drink. I'm going to control I, I, what I drink. I, 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 you control what you drink. Yeah, Leave God. it. Don't I let it worry you. Oh, I'm it's not, not worried. I just can smell it. It's, don't Ooh. fight the, every battle. Just choose your battles. <laughs> choose my battles. You don't want to You don't want to go there. Uh, I don't want to go there. Okay. <laughs> okay. It says, and this one says, I would like to say thank you, God, first and foremost for everything you do. Thank you so much for putting Jesse and Kathy in my life. Me and my fiance just started watching about three months ago. Something about you two have really opened our eyes, heart, and mind. You have really impacted our lives in such a beautiful way, no matter how hard the day is. So thank you so much, and hopefully we'll have a long, prosperous future. Thank you also to God. Amen. Another we blessing. were like included in God's prayer right now. Read, really read that last one. Read that last Special. I'll, one more? Yeah. No, there's two more. There's two more. Debbie says, we give to your ministry faithfully and joyfully. People love being a partner. People love giving our You know why? We don't take your money. We don't touch your money. Do you understand that? I think that's not just why. They, they, they love it because we're spreading the gospel. Amen. And they know it's bring, going into good it soil. Is and I think a lot of them are seeing the results. We get testimonies about people about getting their increase, and they realize that it's because they've sown into good ground. So that's all so important. Oh, uh, Joey says, number. Yeah, I like this last one. Joey says, I am a partner, believing to visit Covenant Church for the Visionary Conference. Praise God. I want to try those restaurants Jesse talks about <laughs> and good. see that beautiful debt free. Free church. I will see Jesse in April in New York City too. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, JDM. Love the new t-shirt. 
God bless you. God bless mightily. I don't know what Let me ask you all a question. I'm about. sure how dumb I Who comes up with the ideas of these T-shirts and sweatshirts and all that it's, stuff? It's the marketing team, darling. The marketing team. I, I, and they send it to me for approval. I like them. So. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. We wore sweatshirts uh, recently on one of my uh, Yeah, I like that green sweatshirt. Programs. You saw that green one? You had a pink one on. I had a pink one. You know, it takes a man to wear pink. You want one? You want yeah, one? Yeah, I take one in pink. I get you a pink shirt. Praise God, hallelujah. I we have care. a T-shirt and a sweatshirt coming up for the Glorious Women's Conference, which is going to be in March. I mean, you could find all the information about that. It's all over our going sites. Going to JDM. Or, and plus, a visionary conference. That's in July. July. Oh, it's a blessing. Let me tell you why I like pink. I just said you talk about pink. Me and we, we went to Hawaii uh, many, many years ago, and um, a person told me, have you ever seen the Royal Hawaiian Hotel? which I think was the first one there. It's one of the original hotels original, on, on and I Waikiki said, no. Beach in oh, Honolulu. Yeah. And uh, so they said, you need to go see it. And it's painted pink. Like this color. It is a, Very what close you call to, a bright pink, bubblegum pink, pink. whatever you call it. I don't know. And that's one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen in my life. And I noticed they had a lot of shirt, because you know, Hawaii It's like a warm. flamingo, the color of a pink flamingo. It's, yeah, it's And that's gorgeous. one of their little logos. So I bought one of them shirts, because everybody else was wearing them, so I got me one. And I thought, take a man to wear the pink, it takes a man to wear pink, you know? But I thought it really looked good. And then I came home and Kathy gave, bought me a, 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 a burgundy blazer. And I thought, I'm gonna get a pink shirt with that, because it go with that burgundy, you know what I'm saying? I He's mean, a fashionista. Yeah, a little fashionista, <laughs> I learned it from Kathy, Lord. And it's such a blessing. So I mean, so if you see me in a, <laughs> a pink uh, sweatshirt, it's because I want to wear it. That's we'll just that it. simple. It doesn't we'll make any it. difference. Are you asking for that? No, we said before I asked, you answered. That's right. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I got Lord. lots of them on the shelf. Uh, I'm thank sure you. we I can appreciate find your that. size. I, 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 <laughs> it's big. <laughs> you know, they, they, Not they, the make extra sure. large, just the extra. I, want, I wear a large, but I want an extra large because when they wash them, they shrink. Just a little. Just, well, and you they, like a little looseness in a, know, in a sweatshirt. Know, They're supposed to be kind of flowy. But anyway, God is so good and gracious. What are you willing to receive from the Lord? Because right now, he's got you on his mind. Amen. Amen. Now think about that for a minute. Let me read the scripture again in Isaiah 65, 24. Do you have the, uh, is that a Passion translation? They, not in, not in that. Not in the Old Testament. The, uh, what does the Amplified say? I don't think he, he has translated the Isaiah in the Passion Translation, but I don't have that okay. paperback with me. It, it shall come to pass, that's <laughs> Isaiah 65, 24, that before they ask, the, the word there is call, but it means ask, I will answer. And I love this. And while they are yet speaking, I will hear. How does faith come? Faith come by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Right, right, right. Isn't that a blessing of I the Lord? I love that. I love that. I have other verses that I collected. If you want me to read another one? Yeah, go ahead. You know, Psalms 91 is a, a chapter of a psalm that everyone seems to be familiar with. Right. You know, it's the one that we all pray for when they're for protection and everything. Sure. Well, in this psalm, which is a beautiful psalm, verse 15 says, He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. So God wants us to call out to him no matter what ha the need is. Has those two verses come to pass in my oh, life? Oh my goodness. You've seen it. So many times. You've seen times. what people want to kill me, boy, because of whatever, you know, and yet you, you had my back and God had my back and it just, and we just keep getting better and better in terms of growing Well, I mean, you can think about trouble between maybe someone wants to give a verbal attack because we had like an assassination on, uh, attempt on your character. Uh, and assassination on my the, life on several the times. Yeah, yeah, it's true. On the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm physically, I'm sorry. Mine too, if you remember in the early days. Where, someone called mean, the house. Oh, I remember, remember that, Remember yeah. that we were just a year in the ministry. I, I think it was. So, yeah, we just, go yeah, ahead and tell it. It was so funny. You always tell it Kathy, better than me. It, 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 this guy I had called, just learned to he, shoot a gun. Let's just yeah, say it that way. She wanted to go out shooting a gun because I had a pistol. But so I only this. had one lesson, so I mean, I was very young. <laughs> so anyway, this is my this God, 40, 19, uh, 78, ago. 79, something like that. And uh -uh. to make, yeah, oh yeah. 78, yeah. Yeah. Or to make a long story short, buddy. Uh, <laughs> I think you had he one. He called and said he's going to kill us. You again. see, you jumped to the end. I Wait, no, tell let me beginning. tell the story. Let me tell the story. I know, I remember mm. it. So I, I called it. her. I lived it. And I said, how you doing? She said, I got a person who wants to kill me, and I got your 357 Magnum. I said, you what? And I got it cocked. 
Oh, Jesus. I went, now this, I want to, I said, you got it cocked? I, I said, is he there or is whoever? No. And she said, but I don't know how to uncock it. Oh, Jesus. I mean, you know, 357 magnet bullet will go through a whole complete, I mean, when an arm, you get one of them arm and piercing, but go through a, a whole block of an engine. This is a very a, powerful. It's a weapon. Right. And I said, well, Kathy, and, but I wasn't there. I said, the way to uncock it, <laughs> hold your finger on that trigger. I mean, on because it's cocked back. Hold that hammer. on the hammer, and then squeeze, and then slowly. And then release it. Right. Don't turn it because <laughs> it'll fire, you know. But I couldn't get over that. Well, let me just tell. The, I thought you were going to do a better job of telling oh, the story. Oh God! Just see, say see, this my right. Now. Look at this. No, but I was there. I was at the house. I know just you me and Jody by ourselves. You were traveling. You went to preach a meeting <laughs> somewhere, and and I think you had uh, the way I remember the story. We thought it through later. Is that someone? Probably a wife had gotten born again. The husband was upset about it. So this man calls the house and says, I want to talk to Jesse Duplantis. And so uh, uh, I said, I, ignorantly, I said, he's not here. I don't do that anymore, of course. But uh, I said, uh, and he says, well, and he just paused for a second. Then he shouted out a threat to me. I'm going to come over there and kill you and your family, he says. And I, I, I just paused for a second. And then, of course, I rebuked him in the name of Jesus and hung up the phone. And then I thought, I, you know, had that statement, but my, in the natural, I wanted to do something too because I was protecting my home, my daughter and myself. And so I remembered we had the 357 Magnum in the house, and he had taught me how to shoot it. And I remembered enjoyed shooting the targets. I think you would fill up big watered buckets or something, bust, and bust. I'd bust it. And it was fun. I enjoyed the targets, and so I uh, I remember I went and get the gun, saw that it was loaded, and I and I was. Thinking, okay, now how did I shoot this again? I was trying to remember. <laughs> and so I remember pulling it back, cocking it, and it said, I'm ready. And then I thought, oh no, and he didn't come right away. So I thought, well, let me just, how do I undo it? You I couldn't remember it how to, I know, <laughs> I, I couldn't remember how to uncock it. I knew you would have to. Uh, and so, are you listening? I'm are you listening. laughing? I'm good laugh. Go ahead. But so I just, I just put it down at a safe place on the table, you know, like Cops. facing the outside wall, <laughs> away from me. I knew enough to put it away from me. And so when you called, that's when I, I think I called you, I got hold that of you somehow. That went through that wall. So I had to say, <laughs> Jesse, help me. How do I uncock this again? Because you did show me, but I just needed a little refresher course. Yeah, go uh, no. My me muscle memory wasn't quite there yet. I mean, now I have my own gun, don't mess with me. I know how to cock it and uncock and pull it, pull out several loads. Reload it if I need to. I've, I've had the, t I'm, I'm qualified, conceal uh, carry permit. Yeah. in hand, so have gun will travel, but I mean, as they say. <laughs> so, but I'm just giving you a little warning here. <laughs> but yeah. uh, it's it's so true, though, but that's what happened when it happened, came to mind. So I had a threat that, that yeah. I had to deal with. Of course, I handled it first with the name of Jesus, and, and, you know, uh, I, but I did everything in the natural as well. So, I, you know, I say that that's okay. You're still defending yourself. That's okay to do that. I mean, and there's there's policemen in the, in the world to help enforce justice. You can't just let someone walk on you. And so I don't feel any condemnation no, for doing that, shouldn't. although people may try to put that on you. But, I mean, it's the same thing with myself. I've had many people threaten me, but when I've had many people try to assassinate me. I'm not kidding you. People, one time a man wanted to uh, electrocute me with 240 votes, and he had it on the microphone. If I had touched the microphone, he'd kill me. How many times? I mean, you name it, shot at, you, everything you could think of. Remember in the Believers Convention one time, yeah. the, the ushers had to tackle a man that I had a usher, gun. the security people. Did, what did I say? The ushers, you said that was security, security. people. Okay, well, they looked like and, ushers. Um, and it just amazed. But you know what? The Bible said, long life will he satisfy you and show you salvation. That was the next verse with long life. Well, that's yeah, that and that just, Psalm 91. that's just such a blessing of the Lord. Amen. So today, I want you to think about what you can receive from God. And when you start thinking about it, I, it wouldn't surprise me in the least that before you ask it, it's there. Hmm. Now you think about that. Let me say this once again. Thank you, partners, for all that you do for this ministry. Right. You know, as we close out today, I, 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 I just, my heart's full because the, the wonderful things y'all have done and 48 years of preaching, never having a financial deficit. And I don't mind doing the work, buddy. I, just, I love preaching this glorious gospel. And if you're not a part of prayer by becoming one, I tell you what, it'll change your life. I mean that. <clears throat> Just go to JDM.org if you'd like to and hit the donate button. If you want to, any amount, it doesn't make any difference, whatever right, you want. Right. Or you can use PayPal or you can text to give, you know, a one-time uh, donation or a recurring one. Or you can go to the JDM apps and just do it that way. 
select the giving you want, or you can just mail in a check the old-fashioned donation way, whatever you want to do. I hope you do that today, and I'll pray the hundredfold right now. Father, in Jesus' Thank name, you, I pray the hundredfold return because yes. 100% of what they're giving is going into your kingdom. I decree it, Lord. I declare it. I call it done in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you for watching today. Amen. And I'm going to make a little announcement. Next week, next week, we're going to, we're endeavoring to do a boardroom chat live. Right now we're taping this because I travel so much. I, and I asked uh, George and some people, can we do a boardroom yeah. chat live? And he said, yes. And so next week, I hope they can get it fixed up where you can just call in with a question if you like, if you want to or whatever. And if, if not, we're just going to do a boardroom chat live. Yeah, we, these are current. You know, we do it one day and tape air, uh, premiere air it the next. The next. Yeah. But we're going to do a live one And for if you, you notice, so we exciting. don't edit. I just let Kathy chew on me all she wants, you know what I'm saying? But and when I'll we, let when him I, get away with yeah, too many when I, things. And when, when, I clo if, and when we close out to. this boardroom chat, I'm going to pull her teeth out. But no, no I'm just joking. <laughs> just a joke. He loves to joke. Yeah, I, love I guess you joke. know that already. <laughs> Anyway, we love you. I've we appreciate you. What can I say? It's my fault. She has fault, man. That's true. <laughs> you want to kiss my hand before we no, go? No, thank okay. you. <laughs> Y'all have a wonderful day. This yes. is Jesse and Kathy saying we love you. Love you See guys. you next week. Bye bye. Bye bye. This media is copyrighted by Jesse Duplantis Ministries for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this media or of any pictures or accounts without Jesse Duplantis Ministries' consent is strictly prohibited.